Welcome back to my channel, I am Unstoppable. I am Dr. Tom Wallen, and this is episode two of week 16 of the DDPY Positively Unstoppable Challenge. Now in this episode, I'm gonna reveal to you the secret to my transformation. And I'm gonna tell you guys, it's not what you think it was. So before we get started, make sure you leave a comment in the comment box below. What was the secret to your transformation? What was the thing that you did differently that ensured your success. All right guys, so if you watched my first video, uh, you saw my before and after photos. And this week uh, I posted them on the Facebook group, on the DDPY Facebook group, and I also put it on the Positively Unstoppable Facebook group to show everybody uh, what I was able to accomplish in 16 weeks. And I got so much positive feedback and I was really, really blown away that that many people even cared. Um, but I got so many just really, really supportive uh, comments and, and, and likes and, and so many people just reached out to just let me know that I did such a great job and that meant the world to me. Um, and there's been some people throughout this contest that's been really, really supportive. And there's one person I really want to give a shout out to. It's um, Pat McDermott, who's the actual, um, he runs the PC, the DDPY PC. He's been so supportive over the last 16 weeks, he's one of the people that actually reached out to me and said that I was doing a great job with these videos. And I didn't even know if anybody was watching these videos. I know why I was filming them. I was filming them as a means to be, to document my challenge, my, uh, my transformation and some of the setbacks and also as a way to reach out. And I was really, really happy to, to hear that there was people that were watching my video and actually finding value. And, and Pat went out of his way just to let me know that, you know, he loved the videos and that meant so much to me. So Pat, thank you so much. Um, now, a lot of people have also reached out and they've asked me, you know, what did you do? <laughs> How were you able to accomplish this in 16 weeks? And somebody asked me yesterday, and I thought this is such a great topic for the video. They said, Tom, what's the secret? So I know a lot of people were thinking it's probably the workouts and a lot of people were thinking it's probably the diet. And I'll be honest with you, people were asking me what I was eating and what my diet was because they want to follow that diet. And I had to let them know, you know, that diet worked for me. It was specific for my goals and my needs. If you're larger or smaller, more active or less active, eating those foods in those quantities isn't going to do anything for you. You know, you have to find what works for you. And I was able to do a really, really good job of just honing in exactly on what my body needed to lose so much fat and still maintain some muscle and actually gain a little muscle. So then there was a lot of people asking, well, what were your workouts? You know, and the workouts were very important. The workouts, you know, um, you know, fueled some extra fat loss and, but that really wasn't the important thing. So I did have a hack. I did have a secret and that secret was my mindset. I was from the start of this competition determined and just I was so hell bent on the idea that I could actually do this. And I had no frame of reference to believe this was even possible because I've never looked like this. I've never been able to accomplish the things that I set out for, but I set goals and I was absolutely relentless and unstoppable and said that there's nothing that can get in the way of my goals. And by reading the book, Positively Unstoppable and following some teachings of Tony Robbins and other, other motivators, I was able to cultivate a mindset that was just absolutely, there was nothing that can, couldn't convince me that I wasn't able to achieve what I wanted to achieve. Now, one of the things that really helped me was a goal journal. Now, this is the best self journal. This is one of the things that I used every single day. Every single day of this competition, I had set goals and a target, and I moved towards that target every single day. I think that really, really helped. I think that was the difference. I think that was the secret sauce. Now, I wanted to share something with you guys. Inside my journal, I want you to see what I wrote right in the front there. Now, it's signed and dated, and what I wrote, and I saw this every single day when I opened up my book, it said, in four months, I will be transformed into the 2019 DDPY Positively Unstoppable Challenge Champion. And I signed it and dated it on February 4th of 2019. Every single day that I opened up this journal, that was the first thing that I saw, and I use this journal every day. And the other thing was my vision board. I had set my vision board, which has all of my life goals on there. It's in front of my desk. It's on my laptop computer. It's on my desk computer at work. 
it's on my phone. Every time I opened up a screen, I had visual representation of all my goals. So it really, really helped keep me moving forward and always making sure that I was thinking about these goals. And I really feel like that made all the difference. I've always been goal oriented. I've always been somebody that's always, you know, worked. I always wanted to be the hardest worker in the room. And, you know, one of the mantras that I, I set up in all these videos and I posted up on Facebook was, you know, beat me if you can, outwork me if I let you. Now, a lot of this was, I was trying to build up a persona. That's not really me. People that know me know that I am not a braggadocious person. I am not a, even a, yeah, a cocky person or anything like that. But by doing these videos, I felt really uncomfortable. I do not like sitting in front of a camera and talking about myself. I, it frightens me. It's one of the reasons I did these videos is because I wanted to go out of my comfort zone and do something different. And part of that was building this character, I am unstoppable. This is a little bit of a character, but I, I made sure that character started to become part of who I was every single day. And it really, really, really helped me. Um, I've had self-confidence issues for a lot of my life. Uh, I, was, I was heavy when I was a younger child. Um, and I've always had kind of, I've always had weight issues in my adult life. I've always been heavy. I've always been athletic. I've always been active. I've always dieted. I've always, you know, read bodybuilding magazines and I've always been in the gym and I've always eaten clean, but I've always maintained a really unhealthy amount of body fat on my body. And when I look back over the contest and I said, you know, what's the one thing that changed? And this time was the first time in my life I truly believed that I could accomplish anything. I set out a goal to lose 15 pounds of body fat over four, you know, four months. I lost over 20 pounds of body fat. Um, I thought at the end I would end up somewhere around 15% body fat. I was 11% body fat and for the first time in my life I had visible abs. And I never would ever um, have dreamed in my previous life that I would look the way that I look in these photographs. And I was able to do that. Now, part of it also had to do with the mindset of just knowing that I was willing to do all of the work possible to get there and that there wasn't any <laughs> doubt in my mind that I wasn't going to work as hard as I possibly could. So I really did mean that, that outwork me if I let you. I knew I used that as just a tool to say that, you know, I know people out there are going to work really hard and I know there's guys out there that are really, really putting their effort in. And I've met some really incredible people. The one thing I was not going to let myself live with is to know that the reason why I may have lost this competition and maybe the reason why I didn't accomplish what I needed to accomplish was because I wasn't working hard enough. Now there's a lot of people in this DDPY community that I look up to and there's people, some amazing transformations. There's Vance Hines of Transformation who I've actually recently become friends with and he is just an incredible person. There's Arthur Borman who I got to meet at Summit. There's Stacy Morris. There's all these great transformations that you see, but there's a few people in my real life that are the big heroes to me. And I'm gonna call somebody out, Jesse Emeril. I hope I said your last name. Um, Jesse is the hardest working guy in the DDPY community. And I can say this, that I know how hard I work. And the reason I look up to him, I've seen him on the website since I started. He has over 800 consecutive days of working out. And what's so astonishing about this is if you see his before and after pictures, you don't even know it's the same person. This guy works a hundred hours a week, every single week. If anybody has any sort of excuses, say that I don't have time to work out, I don't have time to do the things I need to do. I always write a little comment, say, ask Jesse, <laughs> ask Jesse if he ever doesn't have enough time. I've got to meet Jesse, I get to know him personally. I consider him a friend. And I, <laughs> the, the day I know that he's not working out, I know he died, I know something's wrong. He's got a family, he's got children. He's still every single day for the last 800 and some plus days has worked out. So he's somebody that I've looked up to and that's one of the reasons why I've been able to push so hard. So if anybody's out there looking for the secret, the secret is in the mindset and the secret is in your discipline. If you ever get a chance to read the book, Discipline Equals Freedom by Jocko Willink. You need to read this book because I truly feel your life will be better if you live your life with discipline. If you know that you wanna get the things that you want in life, you're gonna to have to work really, really hard for them. And you might want a donut. 
that's fine. You might want a Coca-Cola, you might want these things, but is that gonna get you closer to your goal or is that gonna push you further away? Having the discipline to push past that donut to know that, yeah, after I achieve that goal, I can have my donut. After I, I get to the point where I want physically, you know, I can have some treats, that's fine, but you have to have the self-discipline to even push yourself to that mindset. So I hope some of this resonated with you guys. I would love to hear your comments. Please leave a comment in the comment box below. I'd love to hear you know, how you guys feel about positive mental attitude and just knowing you 100% be believe that you can achieve your dreams. And I know by doing what I did over these last 16 weeks, this is gonna better my life for the entire rest of my life because I have some bigger goals. And um, I'm hoping to share these with you later in the future. So guys, thank you for watching this video. There's gonna be another video following this, which is gonna be my overall summary of my thoughts about the last 16 weeks. Thanks for watching.